हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैट लैब एंड आर टी लैब एज यू कैन सी इन द स्क्रीन टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज हाउ टू इंपोर्ट ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा फॉर न्यूरल नेटवर्क टूल बॉक्स इन मैट लैब ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ओनली अबाउट द एक्सेल डेटा टू इम्पोर्ट फॉर ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वर्क स्पेस डेटा ओके means <coughs> we'll come on that later workspace how we'll make that workspace data uh, variable data uh, okay let's just start okay so suppose um, this video is for okay uh, them who is like beginners in neural network toolbox in matlab only for them not for experts so if you came here for the first time my i request is please subscribe to this channel okay thank you for your subscription so suppose i have excel data <coughs> book to this excel data we are cons considering input data okay where uh, we are considering two type of data that a and b type data but uh, in a and b type data but so many <coughs> different data for two type okay means i think you sorry <coughs> understand it what it is means we can say like voltage data a is voltage data b is current data for different time okay we can say that one na Suppose one second, two second, three second, four second, five second. This is just sample data. I'll show with this and <coughs> another book one. We'll consider this one as input data. Okay, and one type of data for different duration of time we are considering. It can uh, it is like uh, no need to be uh, that it means. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> Maybe not time. Okay, that's also okay. But as a sequence, these data are coming as a sequence. Okay, but with depending on those input data means for tra uh, training in neural network, you already need some input data and output data. We are considering this one output data means our target data and this one we are considering as our input data okay so <coughs> let's start in a toolbox simple just type in n s t a r t and enter uh, neural network toolbox will come look here neural network start it came okay so <coughs> you can do here so many things fitting pattern recognition clustering time series we are going to do fitting function fitting neural network input output fitting regression and curve fitting nf tool okay here i think some of you may have face problem or <coughs> the in uh, importing data for your networks so here just left side import go to import data <coughs> and no valid workspace variable if you already have variables in workspace then no problem you can directly go to this arrow you can select and it will come here directly but we are assuming that you don't have uh, workspace variable uh, data you have data in your excel sheet okay so what we have to do we have to go to workspace here and right click new create variable okay we are creating input and enter and we will create one another variable 
create new will give you name as output so input in input double click okay and it will open that sheet so now we'll go to that our input data that we have considered two types of data for different times okay for different time of duration so we'll select control all control c copy and we'll paste it here control v okay <coughs> and for output data we'll double click on output we'll go to excel file we'll click here control all control c and we'll paste here in this variable okay in the output variable i think maybe you have some question why i am not like uh, just taking data directly from excel sheet <coughs> i want to show you why look here one browse option is here browse option okay we'll try to put that book 2 is our input open this file is in use enter a new name or close the file okay let's close the file book 2 let's close it book 1 let's close it so book 2 is our input data na? <coughs> look input came input file name that uh, we have now we'll select both go to next and next 9 cross 2 input what it is showing double array 2 observation observation with 9 features so we don't need to make it row now the row is 9 observation with 2 features but we have yeah yeah we have to make it a row because we have 9 observation with 2 features ok a and b 2 features and there are 9 observation, observations so now response is desktop b1 open and select next finish look what happened here i can import the data but what happened that data is now paste in both the places here also 9 cross 1 upside also 9 cross 1 okay you can say 9 observation with one features input double array of 9 observation with two features look here number of observation in the predicted data must be greater than observation in the predicted data must be greater than 10 ok let's make it 10 no problem <coughs> where we will go excel data that one this is our book one we will make both the data 9 10 ok file save book 2 here this is our input data
10 observation with two features now let's browse again I'm showing you why we can't do this thing, uh, this direct import, okay, no, without variable. <coughs> Desktop. Control. All. And next. And finish. Look. <laughs> now again, what happened? predictor and response both the data changes I just only browse for predictor data that 10 cross 2 but here look 10 observation with two features let me browse from response okay desktop 1 select next finish look what happened I just browse for response option here but both the predictor and response now again took the only the same data last data I browse import okay so predictor and response might be must be different workspace variable so if I directly want to import the data from excel sheet it's like not possible okay means it's possible but it will not work again and again the last data will be uploaded for predictor and response both the option so what we have to do let's cancel it we are going to that part we have to make here variable okay input and output means you can give any name there and you have to <coughs> uh, copy and paste your excel data in this variable inside these variables from here sorry you can import data just now click on this arrow predictor arrow look here already input output all the variable came here okay you can see here input this is our input so we have two observation with nine features in input double array two observation with nine features okay uh, we have what actually nine observation we have okay now yeah two features a and b two features nine observations so we'll make it draw and for response just click on this arrow click on output look this time input output both are different can you see it not on uh, the last data we have imported it's not paste in both the places okay like upside look name input this variable we have given input it's 9 cross 2 here you can see 9 cross 2 and response it's 9 cross 1 okay, 9 observation with 1 features so just click on number of observation in the predictor data must be greater than 10 so <coughs> what we have to do we have to make it 10 okay can't be less than 10 so we'll just put something less than 10 observation is not uh, allowed to import okay to train that uh, neural letter so let's browse again input I think it will automatically output uh, it it's uh, still 9 observation so We'll cancel it. We'll open it. Uh, we will import the data again. Right side, you can see that already 10 plus 2 it became. Okay. So just uh, click on that arrow input 10 cross 2. 
click on that arrow in response output variable we have to make both 10 observation with two features output double array of 10 observation with one features okay why you, we make row i think you are sure about that because we have 10 observations with two features two features a and b and for different time duration there are 10 different value okay now just click okay mm -hmm. it will work look so here you can see predictors input data 10 cross 2 responses output 10 cross 1 training data is 70 percent validation data 15 percent and test data 15 percent okay it will auto you can uh, change it you can make it 20 okay it's depend on you you can uh, change the test data also you can change the layer size also okay we'll make it 5 and you can train option also you can train with three different algorithm okay we'll just go with default one just train it training in progress validation check uh, okay now it came look all the data so here R value, MSC value, and you can export here. You can generate code here, generate simple training script, generate compressor training script, or you can export, export to workspace, export to Simulink. You can do whatever you need. I think uh, maybe you are going to use in Simulink. So, simu um, if you are going to use this network in simulink so best thing is like export to simulink it will give a simulink model look this came here and now you can just copy paste this block in your simulink model so ne a network is like ready for you so that's it for today guys thank you again i will request you subscribe this channel i'm going to upload so many videos on matlab and rt lab i have uploaded already so many videos you can check in my channel so thank you bye bye